I came in and I just took a nice panel through the side where I knew would sit cool with the bob. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world. Uh, this is a really cool technique that we're gonna do today that actually is just a fun way to put uh, a really neat effect that I'm sure at some point or another you've seen somewhere on the internet. So I came in and I just took a nice panel through the side where I knew would sit cool with the bob and I went down with my Roy G. Biv and I got a really cool rainbow in there. All right, so let's jump into uh, how to get this set up. I've got more than one brush for everything. I do think that you're gonna need something to separate each of the sections and it helps if you can see through them. So what I mean by that is Oil might not be your uh, your best separator on this one. I'm going with the mesh. Remember when these were a huge thing and like everybody ordered boxes and boxes of these? Break these out because these are actually really helpful with this too because it's gonna separate the sections, but you can still see through because seeing through onto the previous section of what you've done is actually a pretty important component in, uh, in this type of technique. Uh, we're just gonna work on the other side of this really sexy little haircut and do another panel over here for you. All right, got my colors. I've got them lined up in the order that they're gonna be, just in case you forget the order of a rainbow. So when deciding what you want, you gotta figure out what you want this effect to be. Because I've done this technique on people using just different types of color. Work out with them what the palette's gonna be, and then you need to figure out from them exactly what they're expecting. If they want something super bold like this, then that's when you're gonna go in with the horizontal sectioning, horizontal application, all that. But like I said, you might want something that sort of blends into the haircut a little bit better. So I'm gonna choose a diagonal section. And just remember that where you're getting, where you start with this section is going to be the bottom, um, not foil, but the bottom piece of your panel of color. So think about where you want it to end, not where you want it to start. So for my first section, when I do this, I like to work with, I, this is one of those techniques where I do not cut corners. I like to work with really fine sections. One, because you get a really great saturation. Even if it's just a couple of little hairs down at the bottom, be thorough. Because this isn't just about saturating that hair. This is the template that we're going to use for every section on top of this. To kind of smooth my sections together to get that little blend. Now, we grab our next section. Now we're going to use my colors from underneath to make sure that we're staying in one bold. So what that's going to do, as we move up the head, you may end up wanting to do another panel if you're looking for something that's going to be longer. Because if I keep this where my red is always, as that section comes up, you're going to have greater space between the red and the root. So just keep that in mind that doing this technique is going to make it so this panel, as you look at it, is where your color is. It doesn't travel as much. So if you're looking for something that travels, you may wanna do separate panels of color that go together. Again, notice I'm holding my section down with my free hand to try to eliminate or at least minimize the little flyaways that pop up. All right, so for this one, I wanna show you just a little bit more of a soft blending in between the colors. So I've loaded them up. 
and gotten them really, really close to each other, but not quite overlapping because you don't want to make, you don't want to dirty up your brushes because that's just a nightmare once that happens. So now I've got a soft bristle brush and then I like to go lighter color into the darker one. So by that I mean, I know that red is gonna, you know, because it's a primary, because they always have to load up the dye molecules in it, anything that touches it is turning red. So that's why I'll work from the orange into the red because that softens the severity a little bit. All right, so now notice what I was talking about because if we're gonna keep going with the, the lesson I'm teaching you, then there's our red, but notice how far we're getting from the root now. So if you're looking, because what that's also going to do while you're getting more room in between the root and the first color, you're losing how much of that bottom color is gonna be there because of this specific haircut. Look at where this is laying. Like, look, see how much that's gonna show through. You can kind of plan what you got going on there. I can see through the section a little bit and I can see where, I can see how well I'm gonna be able to see that through the hair that's laying over it and how much is gonna stick out at the bottom. Because look at where now, if I put this in, where it would start versus where the one under it starts. So that'll give a cool little jump in color there for a neat effect. Okay, the best advice, know how to talk your way out of anything. The first time you do something on somebody, don't tell them it's your first time doing something on somebody because that sets them up to not like it. Like the first time I ever did balayage on somebody, I lied my ass off and told her, oh yeah, I do this all the time. I had done it on lots of mannequins. I had practiced it a bunch of times, but I was ready to graduate to a person. So I just didn't tell her that I was experimenting on her head. one of the things that I enjoy about Paul Mitchell's Pop XG is like, it's very minimal, but they've made them very mixable. All right, so there we have it. We've got our fun panel of color popping out of this haircut, showcasing this beautiful rainbow just in time for Pride Month. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you can find a way to utilize this technique in your salons, behind your chair, brighten up people's uh, fun color a little bit, get it a little bit more exciting, and be sure to give me a follow on Instagram. It's hairstyle with the E right there. <laughs>